hey what's going on guys in this video we are going to take a look at signed numbers now let's look at a number here we are going to have let's look at a 4 bit number in this one if it's a positive number we will have the carry of 0 if it's a negative number we will have a overflow that will be 1 now let's look at an example let's say we want to write positive 10 we have 5 boxes and this this one is for the sign okay and you know that in binary it will go like this 1 2 4 8 and here we have positive 10 so we need 1 8 and uh, 2 so this is going to be 1 0 1 0 but since this is a positive value we have a, we are going to have a zero because to have a positive zero is positive one is negative so if we have zero it means it's a positive number zero one zero one zero that's a positive 10 now let's write negative 13 negative to have a negative we just have to write one right here and uh, 8 4 is 12 12 plus 1 is 13 so this is going to be just 1 1 0 1 okay now um, let's look at 3 bit number for 3 bit number this is going to be sign and inside of this one we are going to have numbers let's look at some additions for example, if we have plus 5, this is for sign. This is for sign. Plus 5, plus 3, that gives us plus 8. This is too big because if it's 3 digits, we can the maximum number we can have is 7. If it's 4, the maximum number is 16. Actually, maximum number, if it's 4, 8, 4 is 12, 12 plus 2 is 14 14 plus 1 is 15 so 15 is the maximum we can have not 16 15 for this one this is 4 plus 2 that is 6 6 plus 1 7 7 is the maximum value we can have 8 is too big and like that if it's same number we getting too big and if it's different uh, if it's the same sign like minus 5 minus 3 it's still too big M minus 8 still too big and then if we have a different sign for example minus 5 minus 3 we will get positive 2 we can write that one and if we have plus 3 minus 5 still we can write that one that is negative 2 and then if we have 6 plus 4 for example 6 plus 4 we are going to have 10 and that is too big Uh, two two's complement two's complement two's complement is two power n and uh, two power four is basically sixteen and then sixteen minus two's complement. 2's complement is 2 power n minus the number. Let's write that one here. Two power n minus the number. okay <coughs> now 2 power n minus a number 2 power n for example 2 power n that is 2 power 4 let's look at uh, this one let's look at 9 
for the if you want to write 9 that is 1001 but let's let's see how to write negative 7 okay let's uh, look at that one step step by step negative 7 and for a positive 7 you know that we will have to have 4 2 and a 1 so 0 1 1 1 and then um, this is for the positive number and for the negative 7 what we have to do is first we have to take the 1's complement that is 1 0 0 0 then we have to add 1 to that plus 1 that's gonna give us 1's complement uh, 2's complement that is 1 0 0 1 okay so 2, 2's complement of negative 7 is 1 0 0 1 now let's see what is the 2's complement of negative 1 2's complement of uh, for the this one for the positive one that is 0 0 0 1 and if you take the 1's complement that's going to be 1 0 0 0 and if you add 1 to that that's going to be the 2's complement that is 1 0 0 mm, that 1's uh, complement is opposite sign so this should be 1 1 1 0 and if you add 1 to that that's going to give us 1 1 1 1 1 and that is 2's complement of negative 1 now let's see the 2's complement of 0 for 0 we know that it's 0 0 0 0 and if we take 2's complement first 1's complement is 1 1 1 1 opposite sign plus 1 and if you add 1 to this 0 we uh, actually 1 to this 1 this is going to be 0 we have a carry 1 1 plus 1 0 and a carry 1 1 plus 1 0 and a carry 1 0 and we have a overflow but since this is 0 it is uh, since this is 0 this is going to be 0 as well so you can see uh, for 0 we don't have to like it's going to be the same okay now the next thing is let's add two numbers <coughs> let's uh, let's get rid of this one Okay, now the next thing is let's add two numbers minus 5 minus 5 plus 7 that is equal to plus 2 then minus 5 is 0 1 0 1 and if you take the ones complement of this one that is 1 0 1 0 and if you add 1 to this that's going to be 1 0 1 1 that is minus 5 now plus 7 this is 0 1 1 1 okay now let's add these two numbers together this is 2's complement 2's complement 1 0 1 1 plus 0 1 1 1 1 plus 1 is 0 carry 1 1 plus 1 is 0 plus 1 that's 1 and a carry 1 1 plus 1 0 and a carry 1 1 plus 1 is 0 and a carry 1 right here here we have overflow 
right if you have overflow it means it's a negative number but let's see one okay for this one for this addition we just neglect this one because we did the two's complement already that is one zero one one and then we have zero one 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 zero one one is for seven when we add we get two and the overflow will be neglected and also if you want to add let's say we want to add negative five and positive five negative five and positive five for the negative five we have to take the two's complement that is here that's negative so let's add them this would this would give us zero one zero one one that is two's complement of five because we need to have a negative number so to get the negative we have to take two's complement for the positive five we can keep this one as it is zero one zero one and if you add them together one plus one zero carry one one plus one zero carry one one plus one zero carry one zero and we have an overflow one and from this one we can see uh, the addition is giving us zero therefore this is uh, this is the answer for this one we have to get zero <coughs> okay now let's add this number five plus four positive five plus four that's equal to nine now for the five we know that it should be four plus one so one two four eight zero one zero one four plus one that is five and uh, zero one eight four two one zero one zero zero and if you add these two together we will get one zero one plus one that is zero and overflow of we will have carry one so that's going to be one zero zero one that is nine and the carry is zero overflow is zero but we don't have to we can just neglect that okay now let's look at another example let's see what happens if we add if we get uh, if we add two negative numbers minus five because if you have a same sign and the overflow is zero it doesn't matter but if you have a same sign and the overflow is one we have to do something let's see what is that minus five minus four we should get minus nine minus five we have this that one right here that is one zero one one for four minus four we have to take two's complement for plus four that should be zero one uh zero one zero zero this is four and if we take uh, one's complement is one one zero one one and if we take two's complement this is going to be one plus one zero and we have a carry one one plus one zero and we have a carry one and that's one right here and then one okay one one zero zero this is a two's complement of four that is one one zero zero now if we add these two together this is going to give us one 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 and one plus one that should give us zero and a carry one and here you can see we are getting four plus uh, 3 plus 1 that is 7 but we should get minus 9 since this is carry 1 like when we add two equal signs if we have a negative signs uh, both of them negative signs or both of them positive signs and if we have overflow 1 we have to do the two's complement to find the real answer but it's mostly happened to the negative number because this is the possibility of getting negative so we will get a carry uh, overflow of 1 so we had to do the two's complement of this one and that's give the right answer if, let's go ahead and take the two's complement of this and see what we get one's complement of this one is one zero 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 and if we take uh, if you add one to that that's two's complement one zero zero one and from this one you can see this is nine but since we have overflow one that's negative that's why negative nine like when we do the two's complement that's that's going to be the negative of it when we have an overflow of one when we add two same signs but if it's opposite sign if you have overflow of zero then we have to do the two's complement now let's look at opposite signs for example let's say we want to add seven minus five S seven we want to do seven minus five and we know that for seven it is zero one 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 and for negative five 
it is uh, 1011 1011 and if you add them together this is going to be 1 plus 1 0 carry 1 1 plus 1 0 and 1 that's 1 and we have 1 plus 1 0 and a carry 1 1 plus 1 0 and we have a carry 1 okay overflow of 1 it doesn't matter because this is 2 and we are getting 2 when, when we have opposite sign but if we do minus 7 plus 5 we will get negative 2. Now let's see what happens here. Here we will get minus 7. Minus 7. Let's do the to get minus 7. First I have to do the 2's complement. For positive 7 that is 0, 1, 1, 1. For negative 7 first we have to take the 1's complement that is 1, 0, 0, 0. And if you add 1 to this that's 2's complement. That is 1, 0, 0, 1. So 1 0 0 1 plus 5 plus 5 5 is basically 4 plus 1 0 1 0 1 <coughs> and uh, if you add these two together we are going to get 1 plus 1 0 and carry 1 0 plus 1 1 1 plus 0 1 so 1 1 1 0 we get we are getting positive 7 but the overflow is 0 so we have to do the 2's complement of this one so let's go ahead and take the 2's complement to do the 2's complement uh, first we have to take the 1's complement that is 0 0 0 1 and if we add 1 to this that's 2's complement so that's going to be 0 0 1 0 you can see we are getting 2 but since the overflow is 0 that is negative and that's how we do that I hope you guys find this video helpful. Thanks for watching and if you are trying to learn DLD1 or Computer Architecture 1, there are a bunch of videos in my playlist. I hope you guys watch that too. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.